Sup peeps, what's going on Gamini and welcome to episode 8 of my Northampton Town player mode playthrough and in two days of it, so we have three games. We have a Carling Cup or a Capital One Cup game against Manchester City. We have a home match against Accrington Stanley in the League Cup, uh, in League 2, followed by an away match at Barnsley in League 2 as well. So, uh, the manager is saying that he selected me to play against Manchester City, which is awesome. I always wanted to play against them. Uh, so it's pretty nice to see a League 2 side against um, a Premier League side. Uh, so we did have a, a first opportunity. It was quite close, uh, just pretty much on par for Joe Hart. Same with that shot there. Uh, so it pretty much was nil-nil at half-time. Nothing really much happened. It was just pretty much all midfield. And in the 47th minute, my player just absolutely released a rocket. An absolute rocket to put a pass Joe Hart. And to make it 1-0 to us, uh, it was quite a surprising um, lead. Uh, just because you don't really expect a League 2 side to start winning over a Premier League side, especially one of their calibre. Uh, so in the 51st minute, we actually do go 2-0 up, doing the sweatiness of what Manchester City do in real life, and that's pass it along the box, put it in the back of the net. And it's just awesome to see that uh, Northampton Town, it's 2-0 up against the English champions. Um, it's pretty much in the from the 10 minutes that I score till the 10 minutes that I, it ends, Manchester City just had a flop. Um, they, they were absolutely useless. They they just couldn't defend. They weren't good at anything, and uh, just pretty much the same with that header there. It was just poor defending by Manchester City, and uh, pretty much uh, Charles just capitalising on it and putting it in the back of the net. So within eight minutes, I think that was between the first and the third goal, um, we were three 0 up. So three goals in eight minutes from a League Two side against the English champions. It's always um always surprising. But yeah, uh, they did make quite a few uh, strong substitutions, bringing on Aguero and such. But it didn't really do much. They did actually find form in the 90th minute by scoring. But that was a bit too late for Manchester City. Uh, it was a nice, fin <laughs> nice finish by Jekyll, I'll, I'll give him that. But uh, he was definitely a bit too late on uh, the form. But yeah, we did end 3-1, um, uh, which is quite a surprising result. And also the Exeter match has been rescheduled for the 27th of November. Or was that the 3rd of April? I can't remember. Um, Toza uh, is absolutely on form. And there's a little review of the Manchester City game. So we do go in the quarterfinals, I do believe. And here we are. We are against Manchester United. It's always nice to see Sunderland in there as well against Arsenal. And so we're going into our second game of this episode. It is against Accrington Stanley. And in the 30th minute, we do eventually take the lead by an absolute astonishing bicycle kick from Jay Robinson. It was absolutely brilliant um you don't really see very many league two teams scoring bicycle kicks so just to see that one go in from robinson is absolutely unique and so special uh, it's actually my first bicycle kick of fifa 13 as well so uh so in the 45th minute um we did have a few opportunities here or there but the keeper did well and the defense did well to keep us out so it was one nil half time and then later on in the second half we had a few opportunities, keeper saving well, and uh, pretty much uh, Bocco for their team uh, picked up an injury, and uh, instead of him getting subbed, I actually got subbed uh, for Nichols, uh, followed by Robinson coming off for Alessandro, or Alessandra. Uh, so uh, Joyce came, came on for Taylor, but that was pretty much uh, how the game ended, it wasn't 1-0 to us. And then going into the third and final match of this episode against Barnet. I said Barnsley in the first, <laughs> never mind, against Barnet. Uh, we did have a nice opportunity there, just wide of the post. Um, and then in the 20th minute, we have another good opportunity, but we just could not find the back of the net. And then in the 45th minute, we actually do finally find the back of the net. Um, nice little finish up past the keeper to make it 1-0 to us. Um, so yeah, it was quite um, quite a late goal, um, considering the amount of pressure we were putting on Barnet. But that was half time, uh, and then in the second half, we do go 2-0 up with the sweaty pass. Gotta go for the sweatiness. Uh, you gotta go for it when you know that points are on the line and the league titles on the line. So, you gotta do it when you gotta do it. And then there was a few substitutions made by um, us, Turnbull and Hackett coming on. Um, and uh, in the 60th minute, uh, we, that player did have a nice opportunity there, but he just could not get his angles right and uh, puts it into the post and then out. Uh, my player does come off for Platt, uh, and in, in the 75th minute, uh, Barnard do eventually score. That guy absolutely ripping my defence apart. 
but there's probably a bit of defensive error by me. I was just sliding here, there, and everywhere. But it was really nice skill from that player. Nice agility to get past everyone. Uh, so, yeah, that was a quite a nice finish for them. And then that was pretty much how that game ended, guys. 2-1 uh, to Northampton Town. So that makes uh, us uh, three points. And this is the league table. We are currently first now with seven points clear now. And we're still unbeaten. Uh, so yeah, this is the bottom. It's pretty much Accrington, York, and Burton that I think are in the relegation zone. But yeah, guys, this is coming to the end of this video. If you didn't like, it, did like the video, then please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, guys. And also subscribe so you don't miss out on any content coming in the future. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.